Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today. I am in my kitchen, obviously, and it is time to get my white porcelain sink clean and shiny for the weekend. It's actually 4th of July weekend, so if you're here in the U.S., happy Independence Day. And besides getting my sink clean and shiny for the start of a new day, I wanted to just talk with you a little bit about the Fly Lady system and why the shiny sink even matters in her system. And at the end, I have a little bonus TLC for us and a way we can treat ourselves after we do some things like chores, like cleaning the kitchen sink. So stay tuned for that and welcome to my kitchen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been around before, welcome back. You may hear some little voices in the background because my daughter has a friend here playing. And before I get started, one of the first things I always like to do is get on the right tools. So this is my homemade apron that I made back in college when I was obsessed with chickens. I'm still kind of obsessed with chickens, but we still don't have any. I raised them when I was younger and this phase of life just feels like it's not quite the right time. So maybe someday, but this is an apron that I'm okay if it gets a little stained or bleached and that's fine. Now, speaking of bleach, I'm not going to be using bleach. Um, the original Fly Lady system, she talked about using bleach in your stainless steel sink. She's kind of updated things today and she just basically talks about cleaning your sink in whatever method you like and what works for you. And if you haven't read her book, Sink Reflections, that's a good place to start. She kind of lays out the system and goes through there. And she also has a wonderful YouTube channel. So I'll link that down below too, if you're just kind of curious and trying to find out a little bit more about the Fly Lady system. It's, she has a, like a daily vlog on there and she kind of talks all about things. And the other person I really like is Diane in Denmark and I'll link her down below too, cause she makes it all really simple and approachable. So there's lots of great people out there. We all have our own approach. And the thing about the Fly Lady system is the important part is the fly stands for first love yourself which means we're going to keep our health and well-being at the forefront of anything we're doing and then she has lots of little baby steps and small habits that we just build into our day to keep up with things and so there's no big chore no big cleaning project everything is just little incremental steps in the right direction so here we have my lovely kitchen sink and as you can see it is in need of a little bit of a shine and clean up. It's looking a little dingy, especially in the corners. I can't remember the last time I actually shined it with the cleanser, so that means it's definitely time. So let's get started with that. Down below, I keep a couple of cleansers. I have my Healthy Home Cleaning Spray. So this is my favorite countertop cleaner. I'll link that down below. And then for my porcelain sink, I had never owned a porcelain sink before we moved to this house. We've actually been here 10 years. And for a long time, I was trained all kinds of different cleansers to get the sink clean and nothing was really working. That was the ice machine. Nothing was really working. And so then I found Bonami cleanser at my local grocery store. And my dad said, oh yeah, I remember that. My mom used that. And I thought, well, sometimes those old tried but true ones will work the best. So I've been using that and I love it. It works really well. I am gonna get on my kitchen gloves just to help protect my hands a little bit. I just keep them on a little binder clip on a command strip hook underneath the cabinet and that's where they live. So we've got that. I am gonna move my nice kitchen towel out of the way. Of course, I found out the hard way that this cleanser can stain, uh, not stain, but it'll like whiten your clothing a little bit. So I like to get my sink wet just a little bit, a little spray of the water there. I'm gonna let that sink down into the drain a little and then just a little sprinkle of the cleanser all the way around. And I'll kind of show you that close up here. So you can see, I just have a little bit of the cleanser kind of sprinkled around. You can let it sit for a few seconds, but it doesn't really have to sit. Um, and then we'll start scrubbing. And then I'm gonna grab one of my older washcloths that I don't really care about. Doesn't really matter what. So this is actually one of those old baby washcloths. My daughter is eight, so we don't need these to be in perfect condition anymore, but they work good for little jobs like this. And then once that's kind of damp, I'm just gonna give it a scrub. And what I like about this Bonami cleanser is it does a really nice job of actually shining up the porcelain. So not only does it clean it really well, but it kind of buffs and shines too. So that works 
really well. It doesn't take a whole lot. I'm basically going to get in all the nooks and crannies here, get all the surfaces. And it has been quite a while since I've actually shined my kitchen sink with the cleanser. I've wiped it down a little bit, but um, it's definitely been needing this. And I've been saving it just for you. And I'll tell you a little bit about the Fly Lady system. So one of the basic things that she has you start with is shining your sink every day. You do a good clean like this once. And then after that, it's just maintaining. So you don't, don't go to sleep with dishes in your sink. You make sure that you go to sleep with a sink that does not have dishes in it. Even if you just set the dishes off to the side, it's just a nice way to be greeted in the morning that you're clean sink is ready to go. You can even take your dirty dishcloth that you used that day and dry it out at the end of the night and then put that in the laundry and get your clean fresh dish dishcloth ready to go and it's just kind of a nice way to start your day. And the Fly Lady system is really just all about, like I said, little baby steps, little things we can do to set ourselves on the right track and even when it doesn't go as planned, we just kind of start over, be kind to ourselves, keep going with the next thing. And of course the whole system is very adaptable too. That's something else I like about it is you can make it work for you however you like. Okay, so that's looking a whole lot better and I haven't even rinsed it yet. And again, my disposal a little wiped down too. And I do have one or two little chips in here that I just can't ever get completely white, but that's okay. Our house is, the original house is from 1921, and this kitchen is original, but it was redone in the 2000s, early 2000s. So now I'll give it a rinse, and then I'll show you my final results. And I usually give that a good squeeze, and that's what I use to make sure this outside edge doesn't have any cleanser on it, because I don't want to get that on my clothing and spray it out just a little bit oh my goodness it looks so much better and that just took a few minutes I probably scrubbed it longer than I even needed to Whoops. okay let me show you the final result so as you can see it's looking a lot brighter and whiter and clean and shiny and some of those stains just don't come out but it's still way better than it was and that's all that matters to me. Great so now that my sink is all clean and shiny it's time for the TLC portion of our video today because the whole concept about the fly lady is to take care of ourselves along the way as we take care of our homes and our families. So what I like to do is a couple of things. I keep our foaming hand soap from Jordan Essentials at the kitchen sink along with my dish soap and I keep my Shea Body Butter which is really good for moisturizing my hands and the bonus item I keep here is our salt scrub. So I love our salt scrub, I'll show you why in just a little bit but um, I like to keep all three of those there and basically that is everything I need to do a hand spa. So anytime I've done dishes, done a lot of cooking, just done a lot of cleaning here in the kitchen, then the little reward I give myself is to do a quick hand spa at the kitchen sink. And as an extra bonus today, I'm going to show you how you can do something even cooler with your kitchen sink now that it's all clean and shiny. Something else that we have that is really cool is our Dead Sea Salt Soak. And this is kind of like Epsom salt, except it's boosted with a bunch of minerals and magnesium. So it's even better for you than just regular Epsom salts. So now that my sink is shiny, I could of course put this in the bathtub and take a big bath with it, which I don't know about you, but I very seldom have time for that. So what I've found is there's a couple other ways I can get a, a nice dose of the magnesium and the minerals from the Dead Sea Salts and give myself a little pampering session, but it's a little bit lower key and easier to do. So one way that you could do it, of course, is get yourself just a good old foot soap tub from the Dollar Tree. Put a couple of tablespoons of your Dead Sea Salt Soak in here with some warm water and soak your hands that way. 
And the reason you want to soak either your hands or your feet is those two areas of our bodies have the largest pores, our feet especially. So when you're soaking your feet, you're getting all those good nutrients and minerals soaked up into your system. And at the same time, you're eliminating toxins, which is really important. But today I wanna do something a little different. So I wanna show you one other cool way that you can use your Dead Sea Salt Soap. So down under my sink, I keep what is just simply a Dollar Tree. Um, I believe this is a shoe box. <laughs> But what I like to do, since I just have a single basin sink, is I keep this under the sink and this becomes my wash basin. So when I'm doing a bunch of dishes, I'll fill that up with some soapy hot water and I can keep my washcloth or my sponge in there and wash up my dishes. And I even have a little dish drying rack that folds up and I can plop that down here in the other side and I've transformed my sink into a multi-purpose sink. So I'm going to use this little tub to do a cuticle soak for my nails because I just took off my nail polish. We're actually heading out to a little fun 4th of July party this evening as long as the rain holds. <laughs> We've had rain all day, oddly enough, so um, it's good because we needed some rain, but I'm hoping that the party can still happen. Anyway, I wanted to clean up my hands a little. So what I'm going to do is, you can of course get a smaller container, but this one's handy, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to add to that my Dead Sea Salt. So I have Hope here, which is uh, an essential oil blend that has lemon, rosemary, and lavender. And that's one that I really like. We also have oatmeal, milk, and honey, and there's even unscented and frankincense and orange. There's a couple of other options. Um, but today I'm going to use my Hope one here. And I have to look at my recipe. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of this. So I've got my little measuring spoon here. Just get that in there. And I'm going to do kind of a heaping teaspoon of my Dead Sea salts. And then I'm also going to use two tablespoons of water, a half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, and a drop of lavender essential oil. So I've got my extra virgin olive oil. We're just going to kind of go for it, do a little drizzle. That looks like about what I need. <laughs> and then a drop of my lavender, this is my lavender essential oil from Jordan Essentials. So I like to do a drop of that in there or a dump. It's okay, we've got a bigger tub. And then I'm gonna get some warm water and just fill that up a little and swirl it around. There we go. And before I start soaking my hands, I have to put my glasses on because I made some notes about the Dead Sea Salts and I don't remember. <laughs> and I can't read them without it. Okay, so I'm gonna just swirl this around a little bit, get those Dead Sea Salts to um, dissolve a little bit. Ooh, it smells so good. So you can kind of see there's my olive oil mixture in there. And I'm just gonna soak my hands while I chat with you. So the Dead Sea Salts, one of the reasons why they're so helpful for us is that they are healing. They're high in magnesium, which promotes rapid healing of skin tissue, and it also soothes skin allergies, so that's a good thing. Number two, they fight acne. So Dead Sea Salts are high in sulfur, which is a powerful cleanser that has been proven to fight acne effectively. So there's another option of how to use them. They reduce psoriasis symptoms. So Dead Sea Salts have been recommended by the National Psoriasis Foundation as an effective treatment. So who knew that? That's pretty cool. They reduce cellulite. The minerals released from Dead Sea Salts help break down and eliminate toxins trapped beneath your skin that can cause cellulite. And they reduce stress. So Dead Sea Salts relax muscles and reduce tension while eliminating stress-causing toxins from the body. So lots of cool reasons to do your Dead Sea Salt Soak, even if it is just like this, just soaking my hands. I think I'm gonna lay my hands down one at a time kind of soak up in my palms and get all the good stuff there. So that's feeling really good. And you may have noticed I kept my rings on and I'll show you why in just a second because we're also gonna do a hand spa with my salt scrub over there. Um, and the Dead Sea Salt versus Epsom Salt. This is a question I get asked a lot. Like, what's the difference? I have Epsom Salt, why can't I just use those? <laughs> Which you can, there's nothing wrong with Epsom Salt. So. Epsom salts have six minerals and Dead Sea salts have 21 minerals because they come from the Dead Sea. Uh, magnesium sulfate is in Epsom salts, whereas Dead Sea salts have magnesium chloride. 
Magnesium chloride is in the natural form from the Dead Sea, whereas magnesium sulfate is processed manually, so that's a difference there too. Plus, Dead Sea salts also have potassium, calcium chloride, and sodium. So those are all good things that we need. All right, so I feel like my hands have had a good soak. I'm sure I've chatted long enough with you, so I'm just gonna dump that down the drain and give it a rinse. Give my hands a little rinse here because I had some olive oil in there. We'll just do a quick swipe with some dish soap and get the olive oil rinsed down. Okay, then my tub can just sit here Next, what I'm going to do is grab two other things. So this is actually one of our face cleansing brushes from Jordan Essentials, and this is an older one. So I kind of pass these on once they're past their prime, then I'll use them for other cleaning purposes. So I'm going to get our salt scrub and I'll show you here. Look at the salt scrub. There's nothing to stir in. That's something else I just love about it too. Like there's no mineral oil. There's no toxic chemicals. It's just the salts and our botanically based ingredients and a little bit of shower gel in there. So mm, this one smells good. This is our joy scent. This one is actually going away because we'll have a new fall scent coming out next uh, in a couple of weeks. So I've got one pump of my foaming hand soap from Jordan Essentials. I'm gonna do just like a nice little dollop of salt scrub there. So there's my salt scrub. Give my hands a nice scrub and that salt is just gonna work to exfoliate. Kind of clean up my cuticles, which are now softened up a little. Get each of my fingers. If you have any calluses or rough spots, you can always do that. And the reason why it's so nice to use the salt scrub um, is because you'll get through some of the layers of dead skin cells. So next, when we rinse and put on our lotion, we're gonna actually moisturize that fresh skin underneath, which is really good. And then I just take it and kind of squish it into my rings and it's gonna shine up my rings nicely. Get the last couple of fingers all right and then i can also take my brush and just do an extra little scrub there this is a pretty soft bristled brush so it just kind of helps to work it in you wouldn't have to do that but it's just kind of a fun extra spa treatment so after the hard work of cleaning up my kitchen which i'll show you when i'm done it's almost clean but there's still some piles and messes to clean up and at least I can say I've given myself a little extra pampering treatment. So I'm going to rinse that off. And there we go. Oh my gosh, my hands feel so good already. It's so soft and moisturized. You guys, I wish you could feel how soft my hands feel. Okay, that's awesome. That feels so nice. My clean and shiny sink looks so good. So I've got that there. Let me grab my towel. So now I have exfoliated. And the last little part of my hand spa treat is put on some lotion so i'm going to use our lemon oil shea body butter and again no mineral oil so it's just healthy non-toxic ingredients set my rings right there carefully and i'm just going to use a pea-sized amount that's all i need right there and now mm, that feels amazing okay so i'm good to go i can go just put on a quick little coat of nail polish and i'll feel like i've gotten myself ready for the party tonight and my kitchen sink is all clean and shiny and that is one of those basic things that every time I do it I feel like yes I'm winning at life. <laughs> Sometimes it's those little things we just have to celebrate. Put my rings back on and I am good to go with my nice fresh clean hands. So thanks for joining me. I hope that was fun for you to see just some of the ways that I like to keep up with my fly lady system and my clean and shiny sink. And then of course, just adding in the little touch of a little pampering and TLC at the end is always good. We need to remember to do that as much as we can. And I have a little bonus for you. So this weekend through July 7th, our Dead Sea Salt Soaks in these big bags are on sale. So these are normally $42. They're on sale for 30. This is a 32 ounce bag. So that's a really good deal comes in all the scents in our catalog. So if you're interested in getting your own, I'll link that down below. But otherwise, thanks for joining me. If you love the Fly Lady system, let me know in the comments and let me know why you like using it. What's your favorite part of the system? 
The other thing I really like besides my clean and shiny sink is making my bed every day. It just makes me feel like I'm an adult. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below. And I will be back on Tuesday with another Tiny Tidy Tuesday. And we're going to be diving a little deeper into the Fly Lady system and her daily routines and habits and how I like to incorporate those around my home. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend if you're here in the U.S. Take care and be safe, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. All right, so I wasn't lying when I said I've got a mess to clean up. <laughs> so there's compost to take out. There's all these things to put away. There's the book to put away, and there's more messes over there, and we're still cleaning up from my daughter's birthday party. So don't worry. It's not always perfect. It's just real life.